picks up one of these balls and she literally throws it at her. the video your girl is back again with another story time if you to my channel hey girl hey and if you're a returning subscriber i don't even gotta say nothing because you know what's up i know what's up we know what's up and that's some way that's some way that's on period and mary had a little lamb so as y'all can see by the title of the video well actually i don't even know what i'm gonna title this video y'all because it's literally y'all this literally just happened like 10 to 15 minutes ago and i'm still like I'm still shook, but I got to give y'all the story time now because I don't want to forget any of the details. I'll probably try to have this video up for y'all probably in the next two to three days, but this literally just happened now. Another disclaimer, I just got done working out. I'm still in my gym attire. I didn't have time to do my makeup or my hair. Um, y'all know usually I'll come on camera with a little glam, but y'all, just please excuse the way I look. I look a mess, but y'all, this literally just happened. <laughs> okay. I honestly cannot believe this just happened, <laughs> but it's a regular smuggler day. I usually go to the gym about two to three times a week, and every once in a while, I don't feel like going to the gym. My gym is Planet Fitness, so I'll go ahead and go to the community gym at my apartment complex. At my complex, they do have two gyms. They have two community pools. They have two clubhouses. Um, they have two everything. So I usually come to this gym because usually, like how it is now, no one ever really comes to this gym. So I came over here to the gym, and my workout routine right now is 30 to 45 minutes of cardio, and then I'll do a little legs, and I'll do a little arms for 30 minutes, and I call it a day. So this was like a regular smuggle day, y'all. I came to the gym, and I'm on the treadmill, and like 15 minutes into my 30-minute cardio section, I keep hearing a little knock at the door. So I hear a knock, and I'm just like, who is that? So I get off the treadmill and I go look through this door right here, but I don't really see nobody. I just keep hearing knocks. So I put back on my um, my AirPods and I'm just, you know, I'm working out or whatever, but probably maybe a minute or two passed and the, lock, the knock gets louder. So I get off the treadmill, y'all. I go through those double doors and I'm looking and I see three kids. We're going to go ahead and name these kids. Um, BA for badass. So we got BA1, BA2, BA3, y'all. So it's three little kids. And we're going to say BA1 is about, I'm just speculating, y'all. I don't know how old these children are, but we're going to say BA1 is about, we're going to say he's about four to five years old. BA2, he's about, mm, I want to say no more than like six years old. BA3, he's about nine, maybe eight or nine. None of the kids look like they were over 10 years old. So I'm thinking they wanted me to open the door for them because they don't have their, um, let me back up. In order for you to enter the gym or use any of the community amenities, you do have to have like a key code. But like I said, they, they're kids. So I'm thinking they didn't have their key code. So I'm thinking I'm about to open the door for them and the kids are about to go to like the computer room because they do have like a, a clubhouse with games and laptops and stuff in there. So I open the door for the kids, y'all. I get back on the treadmill. I'm doing my cardio. Next thing I know, I hear the kids run in here, y'all. The kids are tearing up the, the gym or whatever. So one of the little kids, BA1, he hops on the treadmill, y'all. He going, y'all, this man is going like 5.5 speed on the treadmill. And I'm just looking like, what in the hell? And then I'm looking at the kids. Like, the kids are looking back at me like this. They looking like this. Like, what you looking at? And I'm looking at them like, like, where's y'all mama? Where's y'all parents? And then I'm looking at BA number two, and he's over here on the elliptical machine. He's working out on, y'all, his arms can barely touch the machine, but he's working out on the machine. The other child, he's over there doing arms, and they like working out, but they just terrorize in the gym or whatever. So, you know, I put my headphones back in, and I'm trying to mind my business because I don't want to say anything to anybody, kids, because like I said, y'all, I could just tell that these kids were bad and not trained. They didn't have any home training because they was looking at me like, what you looking at, basically? Hold on, somebody coming. I might have to put a pause to this and then come back. Oh, somebody coming. So I'm going to have to put a pause to this and then come back. Okay, y'all, she gone, but what happened? Where was I? Where was I? Okay, so the kids in here literally terrorizing the gym. They picking up dumbbells, and I'm just like, what 
what like what is going on but every once in a while i would look over just to see if they was okay because the baby had fell off the treadmill like five times but i'm just looking so probably like i want to say i had already finished with my cardio so 30 minutes no probably like 15 minutes go by and i go ahead and start doing like my rdls i started my leg workouts and then another girl comes in the gym and then she started looking at me like she's looking at me funny y'all so i'm looking at her or whatever and when she's looking at me i'm just like no girl them is them not my kids i don't i don't got no kids like do i look like i got kids so she was just like oh like why like why would they be in here and no one's supervising them so i'm just like like i honestly i don't know so she's just like oh that's weird that they're in here and nobody is supervising them and then she's basically trying to keep a conversation with me but i'm not really saying anything i'm not saying much to her because like i said i'm i'm in my workout i'm mid rdls and she was looking at me like they was my kids so um i hear her on the phone with somebody and this girl is talking out loud mind you i don't know this girl i've never seen this girl a day in my life she's just talking out loud so she's just like yeah girl they got these badass kids in here this what the front office talking about kids are not supposed to be unauthorized in here meanwhile the kids doing cartwheels all through the gym they um y'all the kids are just terrorizing the gym at this point so she's on the phone talking really loud i got my earbuds in and i can still hear her through my headphones talking about how bad the kids is so she's like yeah these kids bad as hell da -da 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 -da. she's saying all of this stuff or whatever so one of the um I guess one of the children was working out by her because she was on what's the machine called i don't know y'all but she was on like the machine for your arms and one of the kids were like working out by her and he had threw a ball and i guess it almost hit her so she was just like no y'all need to go y'all need to go y'all don't need to be in this gym y'all need to go or whatever and then the kids were just looking at her like this like who are you talking to like they looking at her like they seem like she was a ghost like she wasn't there or whatever so i'm like wow like these kids bad as hell but mind you i'm still trying to do my workout so she was just like y'all need to go y'all need to go bad ba number one he ends up leaving out the gym but i don't think he left because i didn't hear the door close i think he like went to the computer room or whatever but the oldest child is ba3 did i say yeah ba3 is the oldest one so he was just like no we don't have to go my mom said we can come to the pool my mommy said we can come to the we can come to the pool so she's like this not the pool this not the pool mind you all the pool is directly in front of me so she's like this not the pool this not the pool this not the pool so i'm like y'all uh, <laughs> i'm trying to mind my business but every once in a while i take one earbud out because i really want to hear what's going on or whatever because she's really talking to this child like he's not a child so he's like my mommy said i can come to the pool my mommy said i can come here she's like no you need to go get your mama you need to go with your mama because y'all not supposed to be in here but at the same time she's still on the phone with whoever she's talking to so she's talking about the child while she's talking to the child so she's like yeah they need to get their bad a kids and check blah 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 so two of the kids run out, BA number one, he was like already in the hallway, and then BA number three, he runs out the gym or whatever. So I'm thinking like, who? They gone, like everything Gucci or whatever. So I'm continuing my workouts, I'm working out, y'all, I'm doing my squats, you know, I'm, I'm getting it in. Probably like 10 minutes go by, mid-workout, I got my headphones in, now my headphones full blast because the kids are gone. I can finally work out. So the doors open and a woman comes in here and there's no kids behind her. So she was just like, who was in here chastising my kids? Who was in here chastising my kids? And she looks at me. So I'm, y'all, I'm mid set. I get up from my set and I make eye contact with her, but I had my headphones in. So I take my headphones out and she's like, who was in here chastising my kids? Who was in here chastising my kids? So I wanted to be like, it was her, but like I said, at the same time, I'm just, oh, y'all, my camera about to die. But so she's like, who was in here chest size of my kids? Who was in here chest size of my sis? And she looks at me. So I'm looking at her like, not me, but I'm not saying anything because I didn't want to throw the other girl under the bus. So I'm just looking like, huh? She was like, who was in here chest size of my kids? I'm just like, who, 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 like, who are your kids? Who are you talking about? She was like, my son just came back and said, and B was talking about him. A B was talking about my child. Nobody don't need chest size my child. So I put my headphones back in because she wasn't talking to me. So I continue to work out or whatever. So the girl comes, the other girl, she's like on the other side of the gym. The gym not that big, so I'm sure she heard her, but she wasn't really saying anything or whatever. So she comes out of nowhere after the lady probably had asked who was in her chest out of her kids probably like 15 times by this point. And it's only me and the one other lady in here. So if it's not me, it's you. Like she basically playing any mini mighty hoe who was in her chest out of her kids. So the lady was just like, you don't need to have your kids in here without nobody um supervising them. Your kids are not supposed to be here. 
why are your kids in here? This is dangerous. This is not a place for kids. So she was like, who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? And then the kids run in here or whatever. And they're like, mommy, it was her. She was talking about me. Mommy, she said that I couldn't be in here. She said that she was going to call the front office. Mommy, 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 mommy. So at this point, I'm no longer doing my sets, y'all. I'm looking about what's about to go down. Because the whole time while the girl, she's on the... um. She's on the bicycle machine while they going back and forth. So the whole time while this is going on, the kids are still terrorizing the gym. They're running up and down the hallways. They picking up weights and her and the lady, they getting into it. So she was just like, no, don't ever address a child. You're not supposed to address a child. Address me, don't ever address a child. So they literally going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then she was just like, um, I don't remember exactly what she said, but she was trying to address me, y'all. She was just like, yeah, because any B can get it about my child. Any B can get it about my child. So I'm just looking like, I ain't say nothing to you in your, we're not going with her, y'all. But I'm just looking like, I ain't say nothing to you in your BA kids. Like, these kids bad. And she's right, your kids are not supposed to be here. But once I peeked that the kids were just looking at me like, what am I looking at them? I just do not say anything to her kids because these kids were bad. Like, these weren't. The same kids these kids i don't know y'all these are just different types of kids so all of this stuff is going on or whatever her and a girl are going back and forth but really it's like the girl's talking to a wall because she's not responding to anything she said she's still on the phone with her friend and she's basically throwing subliminal she was just like yeah people need to get their ba kids need to check the kids don't even have on clothes or shoes the kids did have on clothes y'all but they didn't have on uh, what type of what's some shoes they had on the um the crops the what well, not crops the I can't. What's how you? What's the name of the shoes? The the y'all know what I'm talking about. The phone looking shoes. They had on those phone looking shoes in here. So she's going back and forth. Uh, next thing you know, y'all, the girl picks up. Hold on, let me show y'all the ball. The girl, the girl picks up one of these balls and she literally throws it at her head. So she throws the ball at her head and she the her phone flies when she throws the ball she falls off the machine and next thing you know they start fighting so boom 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 boom, boom. they fight and they fight and they fight and they fight and so the kids are now just looking like what in the world i'm looking like what in the hell so i'm just looking and they're literally fighting 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 and the water fighting she's like go get your daddy go get your daddy go get your daddy because it's beat her at me after she got me after she got me after go get your daddy so the kids go and run and go get the daddy at this the i don't want to show y'all the um expose my apartment complex but i'm gonna show y'all the windows in front of me are glass so i can see the kids like the kids are literally running across the thing to go get their daddy or whatever so they fighting they fighting they fighting now she got her in a headlock the mama the mama mama bear of the ba kids she got her hair wrapped like this and she's y'all she's doing her end she's doing her end by this point i'm in disbelief like i'm perplexed i'm just looking like wow all of this because you can't train your kids but okay so she was just like yeah ho, yeah yeah ho, yeah ho. you talking all that smack you talking all that smack so you <laughs> I'm looking or whatever. Mind you, my gym has cameras in it. So the camera is recording all of this or whatever. So the next thing you know, the dad comes. The dad acting like he a quarterback. He, it probably was like, no more than like two minutes had passed by. The dad comes in the gym and he's like, come on, come on, bomb. I don't remember her name, but we just gonna call her bomb bomb. He's like, come on, bomb bomb, come on, bomb bomb. We don't got time to get evicted today. We don't got time to go to jail. So he's like, no, she got me effed up. She got me effed up. Don't talk about my don't speak on my kids. So she pulls the the dad of the kids, she pulls her off. I don't know if their mom there or that was her boyfriend sneaking. Like, I don't know what it was, but y'all, he pulls her off of her. By this time, the lady gets up off the ground and she calls the police. So they are still arguing with, and the dad is just like, what's going on? What's going on? So she just like, B.A. came and told me that uh, some lady was chastising him and telling him he couldn't be at the pool and he wanted to go get his mama. And when I came up, she was on hush mark. She wasn't about nothing. So the girl is still, the girl that got beat up, she's still in the background yapping, 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 y'all. She's talking her ish. She's talking her ish. But she's also on the, um, she said that she was calling the police, but I think she contacted the front office, the community, the the Lisa office, y'all. So probably like five minutes passed by. The boyfriend pushes her out the double doors. She's out the door now. The leasing manager um comes. What you looking at? <laughs> y'all, the leasing manager, um, this lady is looking at me. Hello. The leasing manager comes 
and he's just like what's going on da 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 and they know me because i go to the office frequent for package but i'm y'all i'm trying to mind my business because i don't have nothing to do with nothing so i'm continuing my workout even though i was i was done with my workout because this is just this is just real ghetto so he's like what's going on so she's explaining what's going on to him and then she was like um do you know uh, so she's explaining what happened to the leasing manager and, um, and more people from the office come. She wrote a statement and then they said they were going to call 911. But I honestly don't think they were going to call 911 because, you know, it looks bad if the cops are always on the premises. So I think they probably was, I don't, I don't know, I don't think they really called the police. But she said they was about to call the police. And yeah, that's pretty much the story time on how my interesting um, morning went. It's been real interesting, y'all. Um, I really ain't do nothing. I think I'm about to finish my workout now, but I really had to give y'all this story time. And I know this video is short. I'm going to hit y'all with another story time before this month end. But it's just a whole lot, a whole lot of just happened. Like, this is just crazy. Y'all, I'm I'm still in disbelief. And I hope the recent manager don't contact me, ask me, do I know about anything or did I see anything? Because... I'm Ray Charles. I didn't see nothing. I don't know nothing. I don't want to write no statements. I don't know. I don't want to be in no drama, but it's just a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. If y'all see me moving or if y'all see another moving vlog coming up, y'all heard it here first and y'all know why. But again, I love y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in my next story time. And please, another disclaimer, please excuse the way I look, y'all. I know I look a mess, but I really just want to get this story time out because I know if I went home, I probably wasn't going to remember all these details. But yeah, peace.